Hello. All right, I think this is a good place. Hello. Whoa. Right. I've got things going on here. Hi. Okay, so I'm a little late to this makeup situation because I was making some coffee. <laughs> Mia, no one is here. I was making some coffee because I've been up since 2 o'clock in the morning and that is a necessary part of my afternoon. Welcome. I had, uh, since I hung out with my friend Emily on her YouTube page and did uh, What's in Kaylee's Makeup Bag Part 2, also known as the Makeup Tote, I uh, was asked to do like a daily makeup routine. I, the only stuff I know about makeup is what Emily has taught me. Um, so, I'm not the best. But, for those of you that did watch the What's in Kaylee's Makeup Tote, I have a new towel. <laughs> this is the old towel. And because we're doing this, I decided I'd get rid of this towel and start with this one. But I'm, I'm also going to clean some brushes while we do this as well. Because I know a lot of you were really um, not happy with my non-cleaning situation. So, normally, when I do my makeup... A, it's two o'clock or it's three o'clock in the morning and or it's I just don't like doing makeup to be honest with you so I have to have my iPad and I usually have my iPad and my speaker and I'm usually watching Revenge the show that was on ABC a long time ago I have watched that that show at least three times all the way through but um, I do like to watch that and I don't like to do makeup so I have to be distracted so right now I don't have to do that because you guys are hanging out with me and that that makes it a lot easier Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start with um, a look at everything. So, you around. It's kind of a small area to put your makeup. So, I've got like um, my brushes here, um, my coffee brought to you in part by 41 Extra News. Um, I've got my little sponge, which we'll talk about him in a minute. My makeup bag with stuff in it, my naked palettes, because I'm obsessed with the naked palettes, and my water. And then, of course, there's the baby Mia. Hey, Mia, can you show them how to go down the steps? Jump down. Come here. Come here. Okay, watch this. Can you come here, please? Yeah, good dog. Because Mia's got to make an appearance, right? So we'll show you how she goes up her stairs. Can you, can you show everybody how you go up the stairs? Go up the stairs. Go up the stairs. Okay. And then, and you think Sunny's a cool dog. I'm pretty sure that Mia's just as cool. Anyway. What we're here for is the makeup. So, I do my eyes first because I'm not, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but ladies, I get these, like the, the powder all over the bottom of my eyes. And for years, I'm talking years, I would, I'm going to stack this up a little bit more. That's better. Um... For years, I would do my my foundation. I would then put on the eye makeup, eye makeup to then redo foundation under my eyes. That's bad. That that can't be good for anybody. So, um, so I do like a primer, which has been gone for a really long time, but I keep trying to squeeze out as much as I possibly can. So, because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to stop at the drugstore. That's just it. Okay, so this is it. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Too Faced. This is Too Faced. And it's like the, the eye um, primer stuff. So, I put that on first. I am not gentle. But this stuff helps the, um, the eyeshadow stay on. Oops. It helps the eyeshadow stay on. So, we're good there. And the reason I need this towel is because I'm, I, I use my hands for a lot of this stuff and so I have to wipe my hands off or I get makeup everywhere, which I'm wearing sweatpants and a tank top, so it really doesn't matter, but I had to get a new towel. Okay, so now what color eyes do we do? The reason, and some of you that watched Emily um, Beauty Broadcast, if you don't know what that is, you can look her up on YouTube, one of my best friends. She taught me everything I need to know about makeup, but I... It, I was just with her a couple weekends ago, and everyone was super amped that I had hit pan on on the Naked Palettes in several different spots. I think my new name is Hit Pan. 
I think it's a good wrap name. But it's because I just, if I run out of a color, I just use a different color. I don't like having to buy new things. Um, so I just deal with it that way. So I think I'm going to wear white today. So I'm going to wear like a, a nude color. So let's stack up more. Stack up more. I just don't like having to be like, um, so I'm going to do Urban Decay Naked, the first one. And I'm going to do the, okay, so <laughs> there's not much left in this one, but I'm going to get everything I possibly can out of it. So I'm going to do that one and I'm going to really dig in there to, to get as much as I possibly can. So give me a second while I do this part but if you guys have any questions you can ask me obviously my daily routine is not in the afternoon normally but normally I'm just way too busy in the morning to take the time to do something like this and since today is 80s and sunny and there's really no weather I thought it would be a good day to do that so I'm putting this first color on the lid And so you can kind of see, uh, okay, so maybe you can't see because it's not high enough. So I'm kind of just, yeah. Trying to color inside the lines. And yes, we all, we do our own makeup. We don't have a makeup person, even though that would be oh, so awesome. No, it's not done in the studio. I wish it was done in the studio. I wish that I could sit there every day and have someone do my makeup while I just sleep for a minute. But, it's okay. I turn on music really loud if I'm at the station as well and people can hear it all the way down the hallway. But, it's kind of what gets me going. Okay, so here is the first layer. Kind of looks like I got hit in the face. But we're just in the beginning. Okay, done with that palette. Stack them up. Stack them up so we can continue to get higher. So then I'm going to use the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. One of my favorites. Okay? One of my favorites. Actually, I like them all. So, I take this brush. It's a Sigma brush. Pencil. E30. Whatever. It's small. It goes in the creases. So... Um, basically, I'm just doing right here, and of course, anybody who does makeup to themselves knows that you have to have your mouth open. I don't know how and when that started, but it's just human. It's just a human thing to do. And the way I'm having to stand right now so that you guys can kind of see is really giving me a leg workout, which my leg workout was yesterday, so. Okay. Okay. So right now, I don't remember what her name was in the Drew Carey show, but that's kind of what my eyes look like. Like crazy, like the Drew Carey show lady. I don't remember her name, but rest in peace. So do this first. Thank you for joining me. If you're just joining me, um, my really good friend Emily, she does this makeup stuff for a living. She has a beauty broadcast channel on YouTube and I kind of just made a guest appearance and everyone wanted to know what my daily routine was so I thought why not do a Facebook Live about it. So that's what I'm doing right now. So, oh sorry if I scared you. This is what it looks like. I'm done. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that would be really bad. Um, so now this is where everyone likes to make fun of me because I take, I take the towel and I go like this <laughs> because I have to clean it off. See? 
and I used the white towel so you could tell that it does make a difference. Because basically what I'm doing with this one is making it so that this isn't so like wah 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 wah. So, um, hold on. Yeah, a lot of people, Denise, think that we have makeup people and we don't at all. Um, so I'm kind of just blending it in and I'm probably really rough on my eyes, but I don't think that they're that mad at me about it, so. Okay, so already, already it looks a lot better than this side. That's it, Roy, Mimi, yep. That's it, thank you for sharing. I really couldn't remember. Mimi from Drew Carey. That is what this looks like, whoa. So I'm trying to blend it and of course our mouth just has to be open. Even when somebody else is doing your makeup, it's like, so you should always brush your teeth before you have somebody do your makeup. Time out. Have somebody brush your teeth. Or <laughs> you brush your teeth before. Okay. So, I kind of do that a little bit too. Eyes are crossed. Okay, so you can tell that it's a lot better if you've been with me the whole time, that it's already a lot better. But now we're gonna add the white, the white part up at the top. Again, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a makeup professional at all. Like I'm not even close to it. I still do the same makeup things that I did like 10 years ago that my friend taught me. I'm still using this brush. Maybe it's not even a brush at this point. Sorry, Gary Lezak was calling. He can wait. Doesn't he see I'm doing a Facebook Live? Okay, so now I'm doing a the top part up by my brow. So I guess you would call that the brow bone. And I'm doing this white stuff with what's left of this brush. Kind of blending it in. And I'll show you one eye to the other. Um, okay, Gary called again. I had to talk to him for a second because he was going to call me until I answered. Okay. Okay, so here I blended, I not so blended. I blended, I not so blended. Don't look at my eyebrows. They need to be taken care of. You know what, I have a good idea. Anyway, if anybody has any questions or other than you thought we had makeup people, because we definitely don't. I'm gonna FaceTime Gary. Since he wants to talk, I'm sure you guys would like to have a cameo. Okay, maybe not. Doing two things at once is very difficult. Okay. I'm, I'm done with that, I can't do that right now. Okay, so let's finish the eyes. I'm ready to be done with the eyes. So anyway, I get up, I do, I get to the station, I, I do the forecast, I do the graphics, and then I do the makeup, which is my least favorite part of the whole thing. But since my friend Emily has taught me more, I've gotten better, and I've gotten better. Hold on, I gotta look at this for a second. Okay, so we're done with the eyes. Well, this part. So, three colors. Sorry, something in my eye. Three colors, all nude. want to keep it nude because I really, I think I'm wearing white, but I'm not exactly sure what I'm wearing today, so didn't want to be confusing. Okay, so we're done with that part. So, I have a little bit of this brush left. 
Oh wait. See this brush? He's barely hanging on, but he's been a good brush. So this wipes the little guys off of your face like that. So that's good. Now we're on to the face, which I've got a new thing now that I'm doing. I'm stacking it up even higher. because um, I bought this from Ulta. It was $5.99, obviously. I haven't taken off the tag yet. But it's that blending sponge. My friend Emily told me about it when I was at her house. So all you do is you take it and you run it under water and you squeeze it out. You just get it a little bit wet. So you, it's a little bit, like if you squeeze it, you're not seeing anything come out of it. Use a towel, kind of squeeze it a little bit, but you want it to have moisture, supposedly. Again, I'm not exactly sure. And then I got new, finally got new foundation. I was using this color. So this color is my summer color, which is NW25 from MAC. This is my winter color or, you know, in between, and that's NW22. So I was using NW25 the last few weeks because I was too lazy to go to the store and get new ones. But now, I'm sorry, I have to use you for this. I basically, and again, I don't know if this is right. I don't, I, this is just the way that I do it. I put these little guys all over my face. So, I don't know. That's probably too much. So, I don't really have, and then you go like this, and you rub it in. And this is supposedly because it's got moisture in it. It's supposed to give you more of an airbrush look, which I don't know what that is either. I guess it, it's a different way to do your makeup. But it's better than this, which is what I was using before, which needed to be retired a long time ago. I use things until, I love them very much. I use them until, and I like to do it all the way down to like my neck so that I blend all the way down but yeah so now we do this part the hardest part's over it's the eyes that take forever especially if you do like a ow I just scratched myself especially if you do like a darker color like a like a gray or a black or something then Sorry. I used to have crossed eyes when I was little, like I had a lazy eye, and sometimes when I'm focusing on something that's really in a central location, it kind of does that, and that's what it's doing right now. Okay, so we're done with that. I like to put everything away. Connie Dion, she must have taught me that Every, even when I'm cooking or I'm doing anything, like I have to put away, put away before I can get the next thing out so that when I'm done, I have less of a mess. It's just way easier that way. Um, all right, next thing is this. This is, it's called the Correction Brightening Peach. You can get it at Target. I love this stuff. It comes in this little container about this big. What you do with it, I kind of hope Emily isn't watching because she might be like, you have no idea what you're talking about. But I put it right here under my eyes. Right here in this crevice where it's kind of dark. We're waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning for... Six years total, that, that, those bags start to show up. They start to show up because waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning is just not normal for anybody. Connie Dion was listening. I love Connie Dion. Mia is barking. Um, so, yeah, I put this right here because it's lighter than the rest of my skin. So, it kind of brightens underneath there. Again, oh no, sometimes I mess up, and I just messed up. Sometimes I go as far south as right here, but not normally. So, 
Okay, so now, let's use this. This is pretty. My, this is my powder, so it goes over the top of that stuff. Here's my brush. It has been cleaned since I met with Emily two weeks ago. That's good news. <laughs> Sometimes I get too much powder on the brush and I end up like hitting my face. But, so this kind of um, goes over the top of it, keeps it in place, keeps it controlled. It's like a lock so that the foundation doesn't have a mind of its own. Okay, so now we're done with that. We keep him out though because he's used in multiple different ways. I do too. I love MAC makeup as well. Um, I am pro drugstore most of the time. I will tell you that. I don't like paying a lot of money for things that I'm not excited about and makeup is not one of them. But MAC foundation and MAC uh, lip gloss, which we've had our conversations about MAC lip gloss. I end up liking a lip gloss and it was a limited time situation. And... Jill, and then it goes away. Look at this. Smashbox. We'll get to that later. All right, so now we're on to the eyebrow. This eyebrow, eyebrow case is, has its better days, but it's really good. And I think Emily, my friend Emily, again, if you're just joining us, she has a beauty broadcast on YouTube. She taught me everything I know about makeup, and um, I'm slowly learning. It's, it's, it's a long process, but this is the brow kit by Milani and I did not use this as full out. So, but I do this with my eyebrows. So I have to get really close. This is like a thing. So give me one sec while I focus on this for a second. I'll tell you right now, I didn't start doing my eyebrows, like darkening my eyebrows until about three years ago. Game changer. If you don't darken your eyebrows, you better start doing that because it changes everything. It changes your whole face. Like, eyebrow darkened. Eyebrow not darkened. Completely different face. I mean, not the same face, but you know what I mean. What movie is that? The Other Sister. The other sister, where she had one of her one of her sides of her face was done by makeup and the other one wasn't. Love that movie. One of my top favorite movies. The other sister, girls just want to have fun, and my best friend's wedding. Hands down, three of the best movies of all time. Okay, so let me just finish this part, but this is next. We're getting close to the end, guys. I have this down to a 10 minute process. 10 minutes in and out, just done. I'm not very good at the eyebrows. And sometimes I have to go back over with um, that brush that doesn't really exist that I'm pretending it's this. This one. I have to go back over that with some white for the eyebrow bone, because sometimes I get a little out of control with the um, eyebrow color. Excuse me. Let's have some more coffee. On a Friday, I have to drink coffee at this time to make it so that I can last into the evening, because normally I would go to bed already. Hi, Andrea. Um, <clears throat> okay, so what's next? We're done with the eyebrows. Which again, I'm telling you, I didn't do eyebrows up until like three years ago and it changed the game completely. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to. Oh, Sarissa, I'm using this guy, brush. I've never used a pencil because I just started doing eyebrows when I was given this, but this guy right here is awesome. It's a brush, it's a kit. It comes and it tells you what to do on the back. So, I think that you can get this at Walgreens. I think you can get this at Ulta. Yeah. So, 
All right, I'm confused. Okay, so now, back on track. We have our next move, which is this. This was, if you watched any of Emily's videos, my Black Friday purchase from 2010. <laughs> and the only reason it still exists is for um, just my mental like state. It makes me feel like it actually is doing something, but it's not. So it's just there for help. Okay, so I just kind of comb. It's basically a comb. It's, it's basically a comb. That's it. Put it back in. That step's done. Now we're on to eyeliner, which I'm going to have to stop talking because I have to really pay attention to the eyeliner. So I use Revlon Color Stay Liquid on the top, okay? And I'm going to try to do this in the screen, so this might be a weird, but... Okay, so... Give me a second. I gotta get really close. This is, I feel like I might be a little too close, but that's fine. I gotta, this is really weird. Okay, so I do this. Wow, that's not bad. I can't talk, sorry. I'm sorry, but that's a mini victory right there. It's a mini victory. I gotta take a break though. My coffee always gets cold fast and I hate cold coffee so I wanna make sure I drink it and enjoy it. But I just did that in the screen. That was, that was very good. Okay, so we'll do the other eye. It's a good thing I brushed my teeth because I'm really close to you. Okay, come on. Disregard the eyebrows. The eyebrows need help. They need some serious help. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, goodness golly, Miss Molly. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so now I'm sweating. Yeah, you have to be really steady with liquid. Liquid has to be steady, and once you start, you just gotta keep going. I've learned that if you start and stop, and you do like a little zigzag thing, and it's all over from there, or you poke yourself in the eye, and that is a terrible experience. Okay, so this next one I do on the bottom. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm obviously not that good at this. Revlon, Color Stay, Black. Okay, so Revlon Color Stay Black. And it's just a pencil and it is on the bottom. So I'm getting very close to you and I'm really gambling with this right now. This could turn out very badly. Pretty good. I know I just lost like five viewers getting that close to the camera. I don't blame you. I'm not upset. So I kind of kind of go up. Ooh, he, he got a little out of control. He had a mind of its own, but that's okay. We're not upset. Um, I kind of go up into that little area too to kind of make sure it comes together completely. But now because I don't like looking at myself, I don't like looking at myself without like lipstick on. That was probably passed on by Donna Dion, who is my grandma. Hold on, before I do that. Okay, just gonna put a little lip liner on. I mean, I need that pencil sharpener from Emily again. Cause it's already down and I don't have a pencil sharpener. Okay, he's just going to have to be retired for the next while. Oh, okay, so new thing I got. I just got this. I actually was talking to Emily um, on the phone when I got this. So, or no, no, no. I texted her. I wasn't talking. So I went to the store. This is a really good story. I do not, let, I do not know a lot about makeup. I get to Ulta. I'm looking for the green brushes that were in the back of Emily's video. I wanted the green brushes really badly. 
Emily's going to send me hers because they were limited edition. Everything I like is limited edition. So I go to the store and the guy at Alta says, hey, can I help you with anything? And I'm like, no, because obviously I'm walking around. I have no idea what I'm looking for. And he turns to me and he says, can I help you again? And I say, well, I'm just kind of looking for stuff and I'm looking for a new lipstick. And he goes, do you like stains? And I was like, oh, no, absolutely not. And he said, okay. Like he was surprised. And I said, what do you mean, like stains on your shirt? And he said, no. <laughs> and I was like, well, I know nothing about makeup, so I don't know what this, this means in the whole makeup world. So he showed me this, okay? Obviously, I've liked him because I've only had him for a week. And it's almost, they're, it's so halfway, almost halfway gone. It's from It Cosmetics, okay? It is a gloss stain, okay? What happens with this is, look at the lips. Nothing, right? Okay. And I get blotchy when I'm nervous. So, okay. All right, going on clear. Going on clear. All right. It mixes with your body, your pH levels to give your skin and you the perfect pink. I'm not necessarily happy with the pink that my body produces, but that's fine. We'll look at it in a second. I just think it's really cool. So right now, it doesn't really look like much. We're gonna move on. In a few seconds, you're gonna be like, wow. Okay, so now, brush that's on the end of its leg. But we're gonna use it today, and we're gonna use it for our bronzer. Okay, here's the bronzer. Over there. Blushes in the middle. This guy just hangs out until I need him when this one runs out. I know they're different colors, but that's how I work. So I kind of put a bronzer up on the top of the cheekbone. And then I kind of go around the face, like where the bones are. And I go down here a little bit. I need a little help right now because it's been winter and... You know. Now this is my blush. I did clean him, I promise you. So I kind of just suck in my cheeks a little bit. I don't use a lot. Okay, done with him, we're done. Okay, we're gonna put you back up a little bit taller. See, it's kind of pink a little bit now. This is a better pink than I had this morning. Hmm. I like this pink. Sorry, my eye is crossing. Okay. So now we do a contouring. We contour. Tonight, today's contour. And I just learned about contouring um, last year, actually, from my good friend Casey McDonald. She brought this palette into my life and game changer. And as I said in Emily's video, this can be used for several different ways. It can be used for contouring, it can be used for your eyes, yeah, just eyebrows, like you can use these for eyebrows. So I use this color as my contour until it runs out, and then when it runs out, I go through the palette and I just kinda make it work. I put a guy there. Put a guy there. I put a guy on the nose, even though I've got a weird thing with my nose. I've got a bridge that is not welcome. You are not welcome. And I hate to accentuate that, but it's good to do this here. Okay? Done. Now. Put a little white, okay? This color that's hitting pan. I put it right there on the chin. I put it in between the nose, guys. Put it up here. I put it underneath. But you don't want to get too crazy there. That's what we call raccoons. 
Now, might look a little crazy right now, but I'm about to tone that business down. Like, we're not going to go out in public like that. So, here's what it looks like right now. Oh, back up. You can tell it's like a little too much. Like, the light's like... So, I take the, the powder brush and go like this. So, it controls itself a little bit. Let me look at myself. Yeah, we don't... I think that we're better now. It's just the lights right here, so you guys probably don't see a difference. Let me see if I can turn it around. Nope. Yeah, it's okay for it's okay for a guy to be watching this. Yeah, no, seriously, we need Emily to do a tutorial on the bridge situation because what's the blowing for? Um, I put a little bit too much on the brush, and I'm trying to control that. So. Sorry. Okay. Okay. We're almost finished. <laughs> We're at the dudes of the world's favorite part where they get really freaked out by the eyelash curler. But the eyelash curler is necessary. So, we're going to creep out a lot of people. Boom. 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 See that? Those eyelashes are in like Flynn. Oh, Donna, so sorry. Yes, my friend Emily, sorry. She used to be an anchor with me at my first station I ever worked at in Southern Illinois called WSIL TV. She has taught me everything I know about makeup. She is actually a makeup guru on YouTube. You can look her up. Tons of great videos to search for. Uh, beauty broadcast. Beauty broadcast. Sorry. Beauty broadcast. Alright. So you should go check her out. She's awesome. She's taught me everything. She's tried to teach me more, but I, I, I only can retain so much information about makeup. Okay. So, Mally, Mally Mascara is what I use. It's great news. I got a new one since... The Emily situation last week. Also, Donna, if you look her up on YouTube, I did a video with her when I went to visit her in Southern Illinois two weekends ago, and it was fun. It was it was a great time. I am I'm, I'm very honest to a fault, and I'm yeah. So you'll like the video probably. You might be scared of the fact that I don't clean my brushes, which changed. I do. I have cleaned them. We'll do a little cleaning at the end of this video. Okay, so there's eye number one. And this is taking me a lot longer, obviously, because I'm talking to you guys. And Normally, I would be done by now, and I would be moving on to watching something on television. Or going to picnic in the park, which is what I'm doing later. With, with Gary Lezak, which is why Gary was calling me, probably. Gary's fantastic. Okay, so. We're almost done. This is it. And you know what? That pink turned out to be pretty good, didn't it? Not bad. Any questions as we start to wrap up this video? Again, this normally only takes me like 10 minutes. Um... I try to keep it pretty simple. And if I'm off work and I'm not going to a work event, like I'm going to a work event tonight. If I'm off, I'm in no makeup. I hate doing makeup. So I'm either in just whatever, or I have just mascara on, or I have a, a powder with a little bit of mascara on. So. Okay, give me a minute. You know what? For those of you that like the makeup and the tutorials and stuff, this is the second Mally mascara I've gotten that's been very clumpy. Anyone else having problems with that recently? Because I never had problems like that before. I'm kind of I'm kind of irritated about it a little bit. So 
This, this little baggie out of my whole makeup tote will go with me from the studios to the makeup room to everything because it has um, my powder, it has uh, the mascara. Because what I'll do before I leave tonight, I will go ahead and do this again because my eyelashes suck. And that's because this is kind of a personal story, but you know, I don't care. I used to pull my eyelashes out when I was little. I thought they were really nasty. I did. I thought they were gross. I remember that my mom had a pair of fake eyelashes on her dresser when I was little that were like orange and black and I thought that they were disgusting so I ripped them into like tons of pieces. So that, my friends, with some weird side stories is my makeup routine. Done. All finished. What do you think? Very natural. Very just chill, no big deal. And I'm not doing anything to my hair because I'm, no. There's only so much you can do in one day. I did hair, I did makeup earlier. I just did makeup again. I don't wanna do that again. So um, thank you for hanging out with me today and I hope you had fun. These videos are nowhere near as uh, <laughs> helpful as Emily, but if you want to go check Emily out, again, beauty broadcast on YouTube. She's the best in the West and yeah, have a good day. Bye. Wait, Mia wants to say bye too. Hold on, let's go find Mia. Oh wait, hold on. Mia, can you say bye and then can you go up the stairs? Say bye, Mia.